how you get the head how you broke is nobody's fault. But I double your hustle. Come out of chow. Come out of chows, cause getting rich is important. Money, money, money. I am been no, I am been no. Baba show me, yeah. Why you move, why you? But we just fly now. Your hate is important, but true love is important. Many things are important. Family is important. Loyalty is important. Important, important, important. Nigeria is important. So keep your hopes and I and stand like a soldier and raise your voice and say, Watching a jizzy because better they come. Don't think that down, don't think that down because better they come. Better they come. Thank you very much. You're about to watch my interview on Nigeria Extreme. Keep it locked. <laughs> My name is Akin Kumi Eluashino, aka Zamora. I'm an artist, an Afro pop artist. I started in the Korodu. Yeah. I walk you with my guys in Mezebu. Okay, let me just give you guys a little story. I used to be virus, just virus. Then back then, there were a lot, there were a lot of viruses, a lot of artists that, that were virus. So um, I needed to strike out. Like I needed to stand out, like the name had to be different from others. So I was thinking, how can I make this name sound different? So a friend of mine knows I play piano and I sing. So she was like, Zamora, that's a Venezuelan, a Venezuelan artist that plays the piano. I'm like, eh, hey, for real? Say yes, now. I say, eh, hey. but I don't come from Venezuela now. She was like, it's nice and all. So I'm like, okay, fine, Virus Zamora. What? And then it was Virus Zamora, then I dropped Virus, now it's just Zamora. That's it. You have it. That's the story behind the name. Oh, I was doing the right thing. Different family, they do me strong thing. For me, I know they care with the that they do. Most times, I get inspired by my immediate environment, the events that are happening, the situation of things around. Like, I like to write about how I feel. For example, if I feel like I'm in love with someone, I put my pen to paper, I write a love song. I feel like uh, there's so much struggle in the country and people need to need uh, some some motivation to calm their you know the also down and I write a motivational song if I feel like now it's time to dance let's turn up I write a song that to that purpose so basically it's, a, it's not it's not cliche it's not one way it depends on how I feel you know it depends on what I feel like the mood I am at the moment and the events happen around me in my immediate environment, yeah, that's it. Uh, challenges as an upcoming artist, the usual first uh, funding, because we all know that in the industry to break out, yes, you have to be talented, super talented, yes, we know, but you know, we, we know that the industry, you need to really fund your 
your campaign, your promotion. So that's the first major challenge upcoming artists face to get sponsors, to get funding. Now, the other one is acceptance. You know, we have a lot of artists already, made artists who are entertaining us already. So for there to be a need for your music, then you need to create a sound that will be acceptable, you know, that will be accepted by the audience. So that's, that's I, feel, I feel like that's the second challenge. Once you're done with the funding, once you found a sponsor or someone that can put in money, believe in your dream, then you need to work on your sound. You need to, you need to find the balance. You need to find your sound. You need to be accepted. That's basically all, because I feel like there are a lot of artists in the new industry already, so for an upcoming artist to make, you know, to stay the water, to be, to be recognized, you have to have something, something that's not really, really everywhere, you know what I mean? So basically funding and acceptance, that's what I feel basically challenges going through in the industry right now. Yeah, I could say that a couple of things went with Virus Zamora. I had to rebrand. While I was Virus Zamora, there was no piano. I was just the guy who can sing. Although I, I could play the piano then, but the piano didn't define my sound. You know, now that now that I am just Zamora, we went back to the my, myself and my team. We went back in the we went back to drawing board. We needed to, you know, rebrand the artist, the name. We need to. We needed to restructure a, lot, a couple of stuff, the way I sound, message, what I sound like, so, yeah, there was a revolution, a new, a new being evolved, you know, yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. The genre of music, uh, yes, I'm an Afro-pop artist, like I said, but, you know, if you listen to my song well, you, you would, um, you will find a, a flavor of soul. Like there's this, there this soulful sound or message I try to pass across. Even when I want you to turn up, I still want you to listen to something. So I like to say I do Afro pop slash soul because my sound is quite emotional, quite, uh, quite touching in the sense. And I like to deliver messages. So Afro pop slash soul, you know, the Afro sound, and the emotions, fusion of it. Yeah, that's it. Oh yes, important. Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't it wasn't planned. Truly, it wasn't planned because if you check if you check the first post I posted, I hashtag temporary post because it wasn't something I expected to go that far. It was just myself and a couple of friends in the house. You know, we were just, I was with the piano, of course, and he came. Like, we were comparing a couple of stops, and we were trying to see which game more important, you know. So, we didn't want to say more important because that was obviously correct. That's obviously correct. So, we needed, just wanted to, you know, just do something quite crazy, something not usual. So, we did the important thing now, you know, happiness, uh, money is important, happiness is important. Uh, this one is important, that one is important. I was like, ah, it's happy coming now, let's sing, let's sing it. And then we did it. And then I posted it. I posted it like a month ago. And then everything, and, and I moved on, you know, I moved on. And then after like two, three weeks, uh, a blog posted it, like, this is it. And before I knew it, it was everywhere. Viral, top brands were using it, you know. And I was like, my team and I were like, okay, okay, this is, this, this is it. Let's just record this song ASAP. Before someone else comes and says, nah, I ain't do it, I understand. So we went to the studio almost immediately. I got Zaki, I called him, I went to the studio, we did the song, and then we dropped it. And since then, it's been fire. I thank God, yeah. Trust in God and all this color, Thank you, guys. That was my interview on the GZ Extreme. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can catch me live on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Zamo Sings. Z-A-M-O-S-I-N-G-S. Zamo Sings. Keep it up. Don't touch that dial.